Are you sick of Google Drive bugging you with notifications every time anything happens with a shared file? Well, in this video, Timmy's going to show you how you can turn those notifications off. But how you do this depends on what kind of notifications you want to turn off, because there's actually three different types. There's browser notifications, where a notification will pop up on your computer through your browser. There's email notifications, where you'll get an email from Google Drive. And there's app notifications, where you'll get a notification from the Google Drive app on your phone or tablet. If you're getting desktop notifications on your computer and you want to turn those off, you'll need to go to the Google Drive website on that computer. And if you don't want email notifications and you want to turn those off, you also need to go to the Google Drive website on a computer to turn those off. But if you're getting app notifications from the Google Drive app on your phone or tablet, you need to open the Google Drive app on that device. To me, I'll show you how to do all of that. But to start with, we'll go to the Google Drive website to turn off email and desktop notifications. So to do this, you'll go into a web browser on your computer and go to drive.google.com and press enter to go there. And if you're not signed into your Google account already, you'll need to sign in. But if you've been using Google Drive and getting notifications and things, you're probably already signed in. So you'll probably come to this page here. Or if you don't have a computer available, you can also do this on a phone if you want to. But you will have to tap a menu button in the top left hand corner and click desktop version in the menu that appears to access the full desktop version of the Google Drive website, because the mobile version of the Google Drive website doesn't have the settings we need. It's a bit hard to use the desktop website on a phone. So it will be easier if you can use a computer. But you can do it on a phone if you need to. But now, once you're in here, you need to open up the Google Drive settings. So you click on this settings icon near the top right hand corner. And then in this menu that appears, click settings. And now in this left hand menu here, you need to click notifications to pull up Google Drive notifications. And as you may have seen there, it looks a bit weird for a second, it looks like you have no notifications turned on but then a second later it all loads. So you just have to give it a second for it to load. But now we can control some of the Google Drive notifications. So the top option is the browser notifications. So if you have notifications popping up on your computer from your browser, you can click this box here to untick it and completely turn off all browser notifications so now you won't get any Google Drive notifications popping up on your computer. But if you prefer to, you can also leave this turned on. And then there'll be all these different categories. So if you don't want to be notified about new newly shared items, but you still want to be notified about requests for access or comments and so on, you can specifically turn on and off different categories here to have what you want. Or if you don't want any of them, you can just click here and turn it all off completely. So it's up to you what you want to do here, you could turn it all off or leave it on and just turn off specific types. But all of this is specifically just for browser notifications on this computer. So whether you turn them all off or turn off certain categories, you'll stop getting notifications on the browser on this computer, but you will still get email notifications and app notifications. And if you have browser notifications set up on any other computer, you will still get those as well. So it's just very specific to the browser notifications on this computer. But moving on from that, in the same menu, we also have email here. So if you're getting email notifications, emails from Google Drive, and you don't want to be getting those anymore, you can click this box to turn those off. And now you won't get any email notifications. 
Unfortunately, there's no way to adjust the categories like there is with browser notifications. So you can't turn specific notifications on and off. You have to either completely turn email notifications off or have them all on. But if you really don't want to have email notifications anymore and you want to just turn all of those off, you can click this box and turn them all off like that so that you won't get any emails from Google Drive. You will still get essential emails from Google about your Google account and things, but you won't get any of the basic emails about sharing and commenting and everything like that. So that's all you can do on the Google Drive website to turn notifications on or off. But if you're getting notifications on your phone from the Google Drive app and you want to turn those off, you'll need to open up the Google Drive app and tap on this menu icon in the top left hand corner. And then in this menu that appears, tap settings. And now you'll be in the Google Drive app settings. But now in typical tech fashion, it is a bit different depending on what phone you're using. If you're using an iPhone and you come into settings, the settings menu will look like this. And you'll tap on notifications here. And now you have a fairly similar interface to what we had on the Google Drive website. So if you want to turn off specific categories of notifications, you can just tap some of these switches here to turn those off and leave certain ones on if you want to. Or you could just turn them all off there. Or if you want to completely turn off notifications for the entire app, you would have to go into the iPhone settings to turn off app notifications. So they actually give you a button here to do that. So you could tap open settings here and it'll take you in here to the settings for the Google Drive app. So you would tap notifications here and turn off allow notifications. So it's probably easier to just turn them all off on that other screen or customize which ones you want to turn off. But if you want to completely turn off all notifications from the app, you can also come in here to the settings and do that. But on an Android phone, it's a bit different. In the Google Drive app on an Android phone, the settings for the Google Drive app will look like this instead. And you'll need to tap on notification settings under notifications here. So we'll tap on that. And now it'll take you directly to your phone's settings app where you can turn notifications on and off. But this is where, once again, depending on the Android phone you have, whether it's a Pixel or a Samsung or some other brand like that, the settings app will look quite different. So this is a Pixel phone here. If we also pull up a Samsung phone for comparison. The Google Drive app is exactly the same, but when we tap on notification settings, it'll look very different in these settings here. So you kind of have different options depending on what phone you have. It should be pretty similar. Every phone will have a big switch at the top where you can just turn off all Google Drive notifications on the app as a blanket rule and get rid of all of them. But if you turn it back on, some Android phones will have categories down here that you can turn on and off. And it's also broken down by Google account. So we have this Google account here, and we could maybe turn off comment notifications on this Google account. And we maybe turn off shared items notifications for this Google account. So if your phone has all of these options, you can scroll through here and choose what you want to keep on and what you want to turn off. But on phones like this Samsung one, as you can see, if we turn it back on, we can customize the sound and vibration and the way they pop up and things, but we can't customize the categories. So unfortunately, some phones you'll only be able to completely turn it off. But if your phone has all these categories, you can scroll through here then you can customize it a bit more and turn off specific categories and leave some on. But now you can go back out of this and go back to the Google Drive app 
or even just go out completely and go back to your phone's home screen, now you're done. You've turned off Google Drive notifications on your phone. And that's all there is to it. Unfortunately, it does get a bit confusing with all the different devices and different types of notifications and everything, but hopefully this video helped you to turn off whatever Google Drive notifications you wanted to turn off. And Tamil, see you in the next one.